Shipbuilding is the process from the beginning of a ship's design to its commissioning. This process is carried out in design offices and shipyards with a team of naval engineers. Shipbuilding is the process from the beginning of a ship's design to its commissioning. This process is carried out in design offices and shipyards with a team of naval engineers. Production covers the process of assembling and testing the materials selected according to the prepared project documents in appropriate forms and conditions. It is the hull and superstructure manufacturing process of the ship. At this stage, steel sheets are made suitable for assembly by cutting with appropriate forms and techniques. Assembly is the stage of combining the materials prepared according to the plans. After this stage is confirmed, the welding process begins. According to the working method of the shipyard, blocks are manufactured first. Then the blocks are combined on the slipway or pool to form the hull of the ship. It is the process of equipping the ship with main and auxiliary machinery, deck machinery, electronic devices, piping and electrical circuits, furniture and other fixed and consumable materials. Pipe circuits prepared in pipe workshops are prepared from materials such as steel, stainless steel, galvanized steel, copper, according to their use. With today's technology, a first-class quality yacht of the desired size is manufactured in the range of approximately 10 months to 22 months. Those who want to build a yacht first design the project they are considering together with the shipbuilding engineer, and appoint an engineer on the project and a person who is familiar with the project or from a reliable company, and the tricks and sign qua none of the work are applied to the project in detail. Starting from the closest place to the region, the hangar that is most suitable for boat manufacturing in the shipyard you find and if the yacht to be built will be laminated wrap, the hangar must have a heating system to dry the epoxy adhesives at a certain temperature. An important point is that the place where you will manufacture the boat should be close to the settlement for the supply of materials. It is cost-effective to find places where the personnel working for the manufacture of wooden boats can stay near the shipyard. Also, the owner of the hangar or the people you need to launch after the boat is built, write a letter to unload the yacht before starting the yacht. It would be right to make a contract and especially a legal contract that will protect your interests. Diesel engines are used as the main engine in the vast majority of merchant ships. In diesel engines, the energy in the fuel is converted into mechanical energy as a result of combustion. The mixture of pulverized fuel with air is ignited by compression, and the expansion as a result of ignition is transmitted to the crankshaft through the piston, piston rod and connecting rod. Thus, mechanical energy is obtained by the rotation of the crankshaft. As you know, a ship is a mobile power plant or a bustling mini-city. It has all the facilities, sometimes better than what we find on land. 
These moving giants have a pre-designed and mounted compressed air system that facilitates many activities on a ship. There are mostly 4 to 8 and sometimes 10 air compressors on board. These air compressors take suction from the engine room atmosphere, which is already under a slight positive pressure. These air compressors gradually compress the air and fill huge air cylinders that act as accumulators. They usually compress up to 30 bar and keep the air cylinders full at all times. The number and volume of air cylinders depend on the power of the main drive motor. Air compressors are of variable capacity and are used according to onboard requirements. Shipbuilding involves complex processes and many related activities that must be carried out simultaneously. With planning, management, research and development, purchasing activities in addition to design, procurement and construction, this industry is heavily affected by fluctuations in market demand. Stakeholder who wants to remain competitive globally and locally, it has to increase productivity, reduce costs and maximize profits. Ship manufacturing starts with sheet metal cutting and continues with the production of parts that go through similar manufacturing processes. These are assembled using various welding technologies to form more complex structures, and eventually intermediate products called blocks are produced. These structures are equipped to a certain extent before they are put on the skid and they are subjected to pre-painting processes. The skidded blocks are mounted to each other and the equipment processes are continued. After the main engine is taken on board, the machines are started and the block assembly works are completed, the ship lands, acceptance tests are carried out and delivered to the buyer. This systematic applied for construction, equipment and painting works is called product-centered work breakdown structure.